if the fuel in your vehicle is not diesel or petrol rather it is domestically produced more environmental friendly isobutanol now this is what recently government of india more specifically minister nitin gadkari, gadkari was talking about and talking about the feasibility of blending isobutanol and diesel as such if successful india will become the first gun, first country to use isobutanol diesel blend in the engines of the vehicles and can pave the way for cleaner sources of energy can reduce import dependency especially on crude oil and natural gas and can also create a brighter future with low pollution as such so is it really possible let us try to understand and delve deeper in this particular topic now recently government of india more specifically minister nitin gadkari has stated that isobutanol and diesel blending is something that government is looking at and it is on annual more research obviously is being carried out so first of all isobutanol is what is isobutanol that is a question that might be coming into mind so this is nothing but a kind of alcoholic compound with inflammable properties as such now earlier ethanol uh, is isobutanol has been used for various industrial purposes uh, such as in the solvent manufacturing paint industry and also so it has a potential to be used as a biofuel and it is being explored as an alternative biofuel option apart from ethanol and petrol blending as such because blend potential with diesel as compared to ethanol is much more better in the case of isobutanol now question is that why suddenly we are talking about blending of isobutanol and diesel the first reason is that we talk about the mixability isobutanol blends with a better in a better manner with diesel as such as compared to ethanol and there is no additives complementary additives that is required here second the flash point of isobutanol is higher than ethanol now what is flash point flash point is basically referring to such temperature at which the liquid converts into vapor so if the flash point of isobutanol is higher that means the chance of it chance of it catching fire will be relatively lesser and that's we can say it is relatively more safe so safer and less volatile fuel third we can understand that it can also be produced directly in the same way how we are producing ethanol that is by utilization of feedstock so we can potentially utilize surplus ethanol livestock ethanol feedstocks that we have to also produce isobutanol as such now if you look at the this entire debate in the context of ethanol uses so first of all in the current situation india has a surplus of ethanol and using of ethanol and even isobutanol in the future can pave a path for india where it can try to achieve net zero 2070 goal where india want to ensure that the entire emission emission of greenhouse gases more specifically specifically carbon dioxide emission can be reduced to net net zero by the year 2070 and that is where we are exploring and looking at alternative cleaner fuels to be used in vehicles as such now the problem here is that ethanol diesel blending till now has not yielded the desired result as such and the reason here obviously in the case of ethanol is a lower flash point which poses a safety risk because obviously if the flash point is lower in that case there is a higher chance of engines catching fire as such and all also industries are continuously demanding for revising the prices of ethanol and that is also something that creates a financial constraint for the government and the question is that whether isobutanol and diesel blending can be economically viable the answer many experts argue is resoundingly yes because first of all we do not require some unique and expensive feed stock it can be produced in the similar way how ethanol is produced by processing of sugar cane syrup molasses or grains we need a fermentation to be done for these uh, this uh, this uh, stuff and we also need engineered microbes who actually convert these stuff into the or these feed stock into the isobutanol as such and as per the uh, extra expenditure required experts argue that there will be a requirement of retrofitting that means those industry those places which are producing ethanol in the same plant we can produce isobutanol as well but apart from ethanol machines we need to have fermentation Uh, fermentation tank as well as distillation tank so these two extra addition you will have to make an example they give that for example a plant that produces 150 kL per day of the uh, ethanol in that case we can modify it in such a manner that it will produce about 125 kilo uh, this kL per day of ethanol and 20000 kL liter per day of isobutanol as such and that is why the infrastructural changes required for production of isobutanol is very minimal in nature and the production cost will not increase by a significant amount so obviously it is economically viable there is no doubt about this now obviously what are the potential benefits that the government is trying to find here so first of all it will be able to help us in import substitution because if we are able to produce these domestically uh, isobutanol and ethanol and if we are able to mix it with the diesel and 
this petrol in that case our import of crude oil natural gas will obviously go down as transportation sector is a major sector where majority of these commodities are being consumed second obviously that will helpful uh, helpful us uh, it will help us in surplus sugar diversion also additional revenue stream for mills can be generated because now rather than producing only ethanol they'll be producing isobutanol as well and their income can increase it will also lead to the employment generation as such and because of the lower emission it will push entire india uh, it will give a momentum toward a better fuel and that is toward the cleaner fuel now before moving further in this particular topic i would wrong i would want to bring your attention to the fact that at legacy as academy we are going to soon commence batches weekday batch as well as weekend batches the weekday batch is going to start at 22nd of september and 16th of october weekend batches are going to start at 4th and 25th of october in this batch we ensured that there is a comprehensive coverage of all the gs paper one to one mentorship and doubt solving sessions regular interaction with educators and also we believe in integrated preparation preparation right from the start where you prepare for prelims and mains and in that regard daily mains and sir writing practice can go a long way also we believe that students should be aware about their Uh, strength weaknesses and that is only possible if they are regularly uh, what you can call as joining test series and that is why we have test series for both prelims and mains as well if you want to know more detail about this programs and feature you can click link in the description box of the video you can give a call to the number being displayed here and also you can download our legacy is app now coming back to this particular topic what is the technical concerns so first of all we have to understand that there is a mixability issues with diesel as well however as compared to ethanol it is mixing better but still many experts especially automobile experts argue that if you compare the c10 number of isobutanol and you compare the c10 number of diesel and when you mix them together what we get is relatively lower c10 number as compared to diesel as a independent fuel and what is the reason what is the problem with lower c10 number the fuel with a lower c10 number is believed to cause diesel knocking that means in the engine it burns improperly or it burns prematurely and because of this burning improperly and prematurely it creates a knocking sound on the engine and if diesel knocking continues it can damage the engine as such so we have to solve this problem and thus experts argue that we can solve this issue we can reduce we can increase the ct number by properly blending it with the bio diesel as such however the expenses will obviously rise and overall we have to understand this we cannot finalize this as a fuel unless and until we understand its impact on the engine performance because if knocking issue is not addressed obviously the use of such improper fuel can cause reduced power being generated from the engine reduced torque being generated from the engine and also in long term it can cause damage to the engine as such so the question is what can be the solution for the changes for this particular challenges so we have to add certain improvers certain additives we have to ensure experts argue we have to ensure that if you are blending diesel and isobutanol do not blend it with more than 10% that means ratio in the fuel should be 90% diesel and only 10% or less than 10% of isobutanol as such real engine study obviously is required and cost implications for additives we have taken into consideration that means if you are adding the uh, bio uh, fuel in for example in isobutanol so you are adding three things you are basically having diesel in the beginning you are adding isobutanol you are adding add additives so per liter what is the cost of fuel that also we have to keep in mind and once we ensure that the cost is lesser we can start having a controlled pilot project as such overall again if you summarize expert clearly states that we have a potential the problem is that the benefit of isobutanol is that because of higher flash point it is a safer fuel as compared to uh, this ethanol as compared to isma it is industry ready but price imbalance is there consultants argue that we have to have a caution on cetane and mixability of isobutanol with diesel and as per the automate uh, automotive expert abraham he has stated that blend may reduce emission and import as such however emphasis should be on comprehensive studio so again we have to go a long way before we can start using a blended fuel in our vehicles but if it can be done india can pave a way and also can show path to major countries across the world that how we can push our way toward momentum of a cleaner fuel and can reduce our dependency on fossil fuel and the also also can play a important role in ensuring that global warming and climate change and impact can be minimized to a significant extent that is all about this video if you like the video please hit the like button share the flash friends as a step channel for more such content thank you very much